test, test, test one, two. All right. How's it going, everyone? In this video, I'm going to be showcasing the season 12 rewards for Overwatch 2. Um, just going to be showing off some of the stuff, some of the new stuff in the shop and all the new rewards in the battle pass this season. So let's take a look in the shop. And I think, yeah, all this stuff is new for like 4,700 uh, tokens. Get some cool skins for Hanzo, Soldier 76, and Kiriko. I think they all look quite nice. Also some emotes, make it rain emote for Soldier 76. And, you know, name cards, which do look cool. Alright, uh, let's see. What else is new in the shop? I'm trying to see here. I think some of this stuff might be new as well. For Echo and Diva. $40! Mm, no, thank you. They already got my money <laughs> with the, the Transformer skins when those came out, so I'm good for now. Until they uh, get me with something else that might look cool. Or, you know, something else that I might be a huge fan of. Alright, so that's pretty much all the new stuff in the basic shop. And the other new thing is the Mythic skin for Reaper, which looks incredibly sick. So there's level 1. It's a sick looking Anubis skin. Here's level 2. Same things, just in red, and he gets a tail and slightly altered armor bits on his body, so I'll switch between the two again so you can actually see that. See? No tail. A tail. No tail. A tail. Level 3. Looks really cool. And level 4, which is, oh my god, I need this now. <laughs> So, um, yeah, you have to spend these, um, I call them mythic tokens, but they're called something else. They're called mythic something, rather. I can't remember what they're actually called, but damn. And, you know, you could try out the skin if you go to where it says, hold on, let me see. Oh, no, go back to the level four one. Oh, you can switch it to different colors? What? Oh, that's sick. Damn, that's sick. Oh, yeah, I want this skin so bad for Reaper. Ah, oh. Damn, I want that. Ugh. Oh, I'll be trying my best to unlock these damn Mythic tokens so I can unlock this Anubis skin for Reaper. But, let's see. If we go to tryouts, I believe they put you in the practice range, yeah. Ah, oh, damn, I want that skin. Ah, oh, I want this skin so badly. Whoa, why is the frame rate dipping? That was weird. Alright, the frame rate was dipping. I don't know, is something weird going on with this mode? Or something going on with the internet, which... Uh, my internet has been dropping in and out lately a lot. Alright. Cancel and then. Oh, cool. That's so cool. Alright, let's take a look at the different emotes I have. So here's Dance. Right, and here's Medusa. And. Oops. And Cackle. It's actually not bad with the skin. Very fitting. And finally, uh, take a knee, which is just crouch emote. It's just crouching down like he's Batman. Cool. Alright. 
and we'll take a look at his ultimate in the skin. Then I'll exit back and take a look at the uh, battle pass rewards. There we go. Such a cool ultimate. His slightly uh, different animations around him as well. When he does the die, die, die. Okay, let's get out of here. So that's demonstration of Reaper in the Anubis skin. Level 4 Anubis skin, which, damn, I want this so bad. It looks so damn good. So damn good. Okay. Uh, so, oh, they changed the um, art on the character, or the uh, menu screen, I mean. Cool. Alright, so let's look at the battle pass. As you can see, I made it to, well, I have up to three and a half tiers so far. Not unlocked, but just... Uh, I guess, in progress. I will unlock all of them once I spend my tokens to unlock the battle pass, I guess. But uh, let's take a look at all the rewards for all the different tiers. So you get this cool Ani skin for Ana, which is the first reward you unlock. Uh, tier 1 reward. Of course, you get player icons and nameplates and sprays. I'll gladly share a tomb with you. And voice lines as well. I have not played as his character yet. Venture. I've mostly stuck with the old characters that were brought over from the first game. Because I've not quite got used to the new characters yet. That's actually a cute highlight intro for Doomfist. I like that a lot. And that's a tier 4 reward for Season 12 Battle Pass. Of course, credits. Name cards. Victory poses. Here's one for Ramatra. Prisms. That's what they're called. Mythic prisms. I've been calling them mythic tokens, but they're mythic prisms. All right. Uh, Oni. Uh, coins. Make it rain emote for a diva, which is actually kind of funny. These damn souvenir things, which they provide, or they offer nothing, <laughs> nothing at all to the character or the gameplay. I wish they, I wish Blizzard would have gave them some type of, I don't know, stat boost or something, something to alter your stats, because as of now, they're just for cosmetic purposes, and they look stupid just hanging off your weapons, but they exist. In case if you're Aaron to that kind of stuff. What's a god to a queen? What's a god to a queen? I don't know if I necessarily like that line. Why would a god Anyways, never mind. Moving on. <laughs> well yeah, I was gonna say, well uh, wouldn't a god be more powerful than a queen? Wouldn't you have to be a goddess? To match the status of a, a god. Anyways, I don't know. Ooh, Thoth for Ilari. No lie, I thought that said Thought. <laughs> thought skin. <laughs> uh, Victory pose for Kiriko. I have not played with her enough. Oops, sorry, let's hear that again. Okay. More stickers or sprays, either or. They count as stickers as well, I guess. Definitely want to lock enough of these so I can unlock that cool ass skin for Reaper. Dorothy skin for Ash and Bob. Or rather, uh, Dorothy and Tin Man from The Wizard of Oz. Kind of cute. I, I kind of dig it. Emote for Life Weaver, which I have not played with this character a lot. Every time I do pick him, I just suck horribly because I I just need a tons more practice to get the um just to get the experience down with this guy because 
The only healers I mostly stick with is either Moira, Mercy, Zenyatta, Ana, and one more. One more I usually pick. Oh, Lucio. Lucio, yeah. One more story to tell around the fire. Victory pose for uh, Hanzo. Don't really care so much about the voice lines. New skin for Zarya, which um, it, it almost looks similar to I think was it what was a year of the dragon skin. It almost looks like that. I could take a look at it, but I don't want to exit out the screen. I'd rather show off these um, these rewards first and then do the comparison. Bear the weight of judgment. Or can I do it from this screen? Can I do it from this screen? No. I don't think there's an option for that. I actually have to go to the hero menu to take a look at that stuff. Uh, more name cards. Bear the weight of judgment. And voice lines, of course. And these damn charms that don't do anything, really. You will know my vengeance. I actually like that voice line. At tier 50, you get a cool mummy skin for Baptiste, which a mummy skin actually exists for Anna. So you could have them both in mummy skins. Um, I would show you the comparison, but I'd rather continue showing off those rewards first, and then I'll go back through the ones I will, or that I said I will do a comparison for. There are always consequences. Alright, so, eh, I don't really care much for these sprays and player icons. I think I dig the ones I have now, of Optimus Prime and the Autobot symbol. <laughs> it's going to be my staple, um, my staple icon there in, uh, nameplate. Captain skin for Sigma, which, didn't they already had something similar to that? He was like a cool-looking evil pirate. Well, anyways. Highlight intro for Echo, which actually looks cool. Surprised they didn't give her a Transformer skin when the Transformer crossover was happening. Alright, that's actually a cool sticker. Or spray, sorry. Technically a sticker. Upula <laughs> my maka, Hmm. And, uh, what is this? Souvenir? Eh. Mythic Prisms. Wish they offered more so I could get that Reaper skin. What is this? A Polar skin for Lucio at tier 70? Eh, they could have let it... They could have made it look cooler. Like, gave him a cool, like, um, astronaut helmet or something with a visor. I think that would be pretty cool. Which... He has something kind of similar to that with the frog outfit. Like huh. Immortality. What a joke. Alright, that's actually a cool voice line for Reaper. Immortality. What a joke. Uh, victory pose for Junker Queen. Looks like she's voguing. It's actually kind of amusing. Uh, and that's the final reward. At tier 80, you get this cool bass skin for Doomfist, which actually I do kind of dig it. it. Does look cool for Doomfist. Um, I would I would play as Doomfist with that skin on, which I I need to relearn how to play as Doomfist. I have not played with him in a long time. And of course, uh, you know additional rewards for experience points. Which, I guess you get, what, name tags? Stonewalk... Uh, what does that say? Stoneworker, mummy, scribe, uh, vis visor, vizier, divine mourner, descendant of Ra. I like that one. Child of Anubis, pharaoh, 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 pharaoh. Uh, I like the descendant of Ra. That's actually pretty cool. 
All right, so I did say I was going to show off some of the comparisons. So, yeah, tier 50, you get the mummy skin for Baptiste, but a mummy skin already exists from, I believe, one of the Halloween events for Anna. So I can show you what that looks like real quick. I think this one, Ghoul, that I have on now, that's also another Halloween one. But, yeah. So, you know, if you get to get two healers on your team, one plays Anna, one is Baptiste, put them both in the mummy skins around Halloween time or October, have a fun little, you know, I guess, thing going on there. All right. And I did say that one skin for Zarya looked like the Year of the Dragon one. So that's the current skin I have for her. My staple skin for Zarya, where she looks like an alien in a business suit. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to remember the name. Was it this one? Zan Wu? Might have been this one I'm thinking of. Yeah. So this is one of the Year of the Dragon ones for Zarya. And if I go back to the Season 12 Battle Pass, take a look at the other uh, skin for her. There it is. Ah, it's called a pep. Ah. So it's more, I guess, in line with um with Egyptian mythology. Well, it looks pretty cool, but I like my alien skin for her. All right. So that's about it for the showcase video and, you know, the hero mastery stuff where you unlock additional poses and sprays, which eh, I don't know if I really care about that stuff so much. But the other stuff look cool, especially this, this mythic skin for Reaper. I want this so badly. Oh man, he looks so divine. Oh no, wait, no. There we go. I'm trying to decide which one he looks best in. They all look equally good. I kind of like this green one. It's kind of giving me uh, spawn vibes. Like if Todd McFarlane made an action figure. Actually, Todd McFarlane should get into making Overwatch action figures. Because if he makes something like this, oh, I would so buy it. 1,000% I would buy it. <laughs> but yeah, they all look equally as good. Alright, guys. I'm out. Thanks for watching the showcase video for Season 12 Battle Pass for Overwatch 2. I know this game is... <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I have still have a love-hate relationship with Overwatch 2. It's the only online multiplayer shooter I still play to this very day. I don't really play any other shooter. Not even... Well, Fortnite, I have it downloaded on my Nintendo Switch, and I might jump in to mess with that once every once in a while. Like, when they did the whole, like, Wolverine skin, I played that just to unlock the Wolverine skin. Um, I also have the Venom skin, and what else I have in Fortnite? I have Groot, Thor, uh, Snake Eyes from G.I. Joe. But that's pretty much it. The only skins I have unlock for my Fortnite character in that game, but I, I don't really play it enough. <laughs> uh, again, I play this more than any other shooter. Uh, I don't really play Call of Duty anymore. I gave Black Ops, what was it, 2 a chance? Uh, where did I put that box? I think I still have the box for it somewhere. It came with a special edition coin. Uh, don't know where... It, well, anyways, it was either Black Ops 2 or Black Ops 3. I was the last one I played. And then after that, I just gave up on Call of Duty again. Uh, yeah, again. Because it was, I gave up after one of the Modern Warfare games... But then when Black Ops 2 came out, I was like, whoa, I gotta try this out. And then I tried the online, and I was like, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna give up on Call of Duty again, and give up on it for good this time. <laughs> and I did exactly that. Never touch Call of Duty ever again. Which is funny, because I keep meeting people around my own age range, or younger, that still play Call of Duty. And I'm like, wow, you guys are still playing that? I'm like, I gave up on that years ago years ago now only multiplayer game i play is overwatch 2 and i just 
stick to mostly uh, single player games when it comes to everything else. Uh, Alright guys, what else is new? What else is new? Uh, I know this game just came out. Everyone is playing it. Black Myth Wukong. 104.4 gigabytes? Good God. Why? <laughs> is it is it heavy on the graphics? Is that why? Is it big? Hmm. I mean, Elden Ring was huge, but that's because... Yeah, it's huge. I mean, it has a huge world in the game that you get to play through. 104 gigs. Good God. But anyways, yeah, this game just came out. Millions of players, millions of gamers are playing it. Um, since I'm currently still playing and trying to catch up on so many games in my backlog, I feel like this is not a priority for me right now to spend full price on and play even though it looks very enjoyable. Um, and yeah, I'm just busy a lot with my job. So combine real-life job with trying to catch up on games in my backlog during my spare time kind of leaves little to no room to try out new games. Even though I can afford them and play them if I wish to do so, I prefer to catch up on everything else I'm already playing. <laughs> um, plus, I think the next new game I plan to spend full price on is the uh, new Warhammer game, Warhammer 40k Space Hulk, Space Hulk 2 for PS5, so I plan on checking that out at least. And yeah, I'll most likely have videos up for that. Uh, Alright guys, oh! I'm thinking about doing a taste test video for the Beetlejuice soda. The Fanta Beetlejuice soda. I don't know. I'm trying to decide if I want to do a taste test for that. Because I heard I heard that soda tastes like a candle. Not in a good way. So I'll have to decide if I want to do a fun video for that. I don't know. Alright guys. Later. Adios. Stay awesome. Peace.